Okay, so I was really lost with no direction for today's vlog. Not really, I was like, I don't know what to do today. And I was just confused because I felt like I had no time and I literally don't have a lot of time. Um, but on a miraculous in the bathroom on my phone discovery, I know what I'm gonna do today. So have you ever seen, actually wait, 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 before we tell you what I'm gonna do, watch this video. Have you ever seen steel wool and when you burn it, it goes crazy? So I saw a picture on Instagram, this picture right here in this general area. And I'm like, I want to do that tonight. And so I figured out on the internet how to do it because the internet is brilliant and it told me how to do it exactly. So I need to go buy some steel wool right now to prepare for that picture. Let's go. So I'm not really sure where you can buy steel wool at, so I just figured I would go to the one place that everyone goes to when they buy things, which is Walmart, and so I'm just going to see if Walmart has some steel wool, and if they don't, I'll just go over to Lowe's over there and figure out something, but Walmart it is for right now. Excuse me? Do you guys have steel wool anywhere by chance? Alright, thanks. I don't know if I recorded that right, but he doesn't know he was getting recorded. Oh, steel wool. Oh, and it's only $2.97. Why is my recording so dark right now? Well, oh. steel wool. It's only $2.97. I don't know, like, which one I should get. Which one do you guys think I should get? Should I get, like, one of each? There's three, and they're all the same price. Steel wool is purchased as you saw. Apparently this stuff is pretty flammable. Well actually I know it's pretty flammable because that's what the whole point of the picture. So we're gonna take some of this and just do the old do the old light up right now and see what happens outside. Steel wool. Let's try it real quick, see what happens. Okay, well that was a little more anticlimactic than I thought. So we'll just have to see tonight because I do have three different three different kinds of steel wool, so when we do it tonight, and we'll, we'll just test it out. I mean, I have at least 10 hours of darkness for this to work. <laughs> so sometime tonight I'll get it. Um, conveniently, it's daytime right now, and I have to go to work for about five hours, and it won't be daytime after that. So I'm gonna go to work really quick for five hours, and then after we're gonna take all the other, I'm gonna show you all the things we need. We're gonna take it, and we're gonna do this. And hopefully I get a cool picture like this one that you saw already. So hopefully it works. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, look at the hair. Alright, work time. Okay, so here's the situation. I need better lighting, one thing. Alright, perfect. Lighting. So, I'm back home. Done with work. I have my materials. Here's my materials. Well, you already know the steel wool. Ethan's helping me take the picture. And this is the other materials. This is a whisk, this is a dog leash. And I'm gonna spin it around like this with the steel wool on fire in it and it's gonna shoot sparks out. So we need to go right now because we're also trying to go to the new movie Straight Outta Compton, you know? Straight Outta Compton, Straight Outta Compton, Straight Outta Compton. Okay, we need to go to the special spot that I have downtown um, to take this picture. Let's, <laughs> I didn't know you were doing that the whole time. <laughs> Let's go. All right, all right, all right, we're downtown. Over there in that alley is where I need to go. That's it. I need stuff out of the car. I don't lock it. Okay. So this is Ethan. Here, there's a light in there. Can you shine it on me? So this is our setting right here. And basically what you need to do for photo experts and for not photo experts, there's an aperture and an f-stop and then your ISO. Your ISO, I'm going to set my ISO at 
about 400 and then my f stop which is the f with the number in front of it is going to be set at like a 16 and then my shutter speed is going to be 30 seconds i'm going to take this fill it with steel wool light it on fire and spin it around and i'll spin it around in the picture and all the little sparks will be the light that the camera catches um and it'll look really cool and so i'm gonna have ethan record it on the gopro Ethan, come up here and say hello. Hi. <laughs> and I'll be swinging in the background. So we're gonna try this. Well, make sure. Yeah, your fingers stay right there. Yeah. You know, super risky the way that I have the camera sitting right now. It's literally balancing on the edge of my chair. Right here is how much it has to balance. Crazy. Um, I'm just looking through the pictures right now. There are these right here in this quick sequence. I think that they turned out pretty cool. The only thing that I had trouble with was the street lights and fixing those, like getting those. These are gonna take some editing. I actually changed it up. I used ISO 200 and uh, f-stop was um, 11. So there's slight changes. You just kind of play, gotta play with that. Um, and it turned out pretty cool. And I'm excited about it because now I know how to do it so I'll be able to do it more. So I'll be able to just play with this a lot and that's really fun. But at the same time, this is the end of the vlog so I'm gonna say goodnight because I work early in the morning tonight or tomorrow and <clears throat> I also have to have this video edited and it's also 1.18 a.m. I'll talk about the movie that I saw tomorrow and but for now, don't forget to uh, embrace your weird and tell a friend about this huge channel on YouTube and I'll see you tomorrow, peace.